Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an error message on your computer. This is that the program you can't start because the API slash MS slash win is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix this problem. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up a web browser of our choice and search for visual C++ 2015. And the best result should be a Microsoft domain here, Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 redistributable. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to select the download button. And you want to select the Time64 version if you're on Windows 11. On Windows 10, more likely than not, you're going to be downloading the Time64 anyway. But if you're on Windows 11, you can only be running Windows 11 on a 64-bit hardware. So that's why you're going to select the top option here. And select Next. And go ahead and run that file once it's done downloading. You can close out of the web browser this time. Agree to the license terms and conditions and select Install. So it's already installed on my system, but you would go ahead and proceed and let it install. And then that should hopefully be able to resolve the problem. If you perhaps already had it installed, like you just saw on my screen, something else you could do would be opening up the search menu, type in Control Panel, Best match, or come back with Control Panel. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by in the top right to large icons, and then you want to select Programs and Features. You want to locate anything that says Visual C++ in here. Just select it. Then select the Change button, and select Repair. Select Yes if you receive the User Account Control Prompt. I am not going to restart my system yet. I'm going to repair the other one first, and then we will proceed to restart our computer. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And like I said, restart your device. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to help resolve that error message. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.